All right, so uh, back last year, I put uh, wheel spacers on my Jeep, and I talked about how you have to uh, dress the inside of the wheel face when you put them on. So since then, it's been uh, gone through winter, and I'm getting ready to put my uh, aluminum wheels back on for the summer. So I uh, had steel wheels on for the uh, winter, and as you can see, I did prime the uh, face of the wheels, but there was some... Uh, galvanic type corrosion between the uh, steel and aluminum which wasn't really unexpected so we got to clean up the wheel spacers without doing any damage to them I mean picking away at this little bit and I found out that using one of these scrapers is probably your best bet because it's got a flat edge so you don't need to remove any more of the material than necessary so basically all you got to do is kind of scrape. There will be low spots that are going to remain. And I got the other side of the Jeep up off the ground so I can spin the wheels. So basically you got to go through a little tedious little task cleaning this up because if you didn't and uh, the surface was all rough, you likely have a, a wheel come off in the near future. So, go do that. Then when you're in here, you should just verify that you don't have any loose uh, wheel spacer nuts. So I just take the uh, plastic off of my socket here. Do it by hand. If you were to try to retorque it, you'd break the Loctite. So you don't really want to do that. Considering I haven't had any problems, I think that's adequate for me. The last little bit is with my aluminum wheels and my stainless uh, lug nuts have problems where they gall against the aluminum before they really get tight. And uh, what brand are these things? VMS. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're actually pretty cool. I like these. You could polish them up and keep them looking sharp on your vehicle then they don't fall apart like the uh, the factory ones. So what I do is uh, when I'm putting them on I just put a dab of grease just on the cone so that uh, they don't stick. It's not for the threads. Was, uh, I had the Jeep in for something recently well in the, f in the fall really and about 20 minutes after I left the garage one of my the back wheels almost fell off and uh, the reason being is they thought the wheels were tight and they torqued them, but they just they got jammed and galled, so they weren't really tight. And after a bit of wiggling around on the vehicle, they just about came off. So if you feel something funny after you've had the wheels off your vehicle, definitely pull over right away and check your lugs. And when you're uh, changing your wheels with the aluminum spacers, these are spider tracks. Um, you have to clean them off a little bit there, otherwise they'll get out of hand after a while. So thank you for watching.